Today, I'm gonna to learn to you something about a supercharger and tell you exactly what you get when it comes to supercharging your brand new Ford F-150. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. And today I'm super excited to make this particular video because I had a lot of people asking about details of what is included on our brand new special that we're running. If you're not aware, we are offering brand new F-150s, 2023s with a 705 Roush supercharger, 705 horsepower, and a full warranty installation, the whole thing for $44,990. And I wanted to kind of go over some of the things you get in that particular setup, but I also happen to have that exact same supercharger in front of me so we can go over the details of exactly how does a supercharger like this Roush Performance makes 705 horsepower on the new F-150. First up, let's talk about what it is and how it does what it does. This is basically a gigantic air compressor. It takes air and compresses it. And the idea there is if you can take more air, compress it and stick it into your motor, that means you can also put more fuel into your motor. And if you can put more air and more fuel, you get a bigger explosion, which is how you get more horsepower. It's very simple. It's an air and a fuel mixture and you got to make sure that you keep it just right. So this Roush supercharger is mechanically driven. And what do I mean by that? As your weak boy over here is trying to pick up this heavy, heavy girl, I wanted to show you this is the underside of the supercharger. This is the side that you normally don't get a chance to see because it's bolted up to the rest of your engine. You'll notice that you've got the pulley located right here. This pulley actually spins. And as that pulley spins, it actually will spin these blades inside the bottom of that supercharger. Well, these blades run both sides all the way down the supercharger. And the idea is the air comes into this little inlet located right here. And as those blades spin, it takes that air, it compresses it, and then it comes out of this backside of the supercharger. And because you're putting so much more compressed air into the motor, it's going to heat everything up. So how do you keep that air cool when you're pushing it into the motor? Well, between the supercharger and the engine is going to be an intercooler. So this hot air coming out of here gets put through that intercooler. It cools it down right before it goes into the engine, which is exactly what allows it to make so much more horsepower. Now, let's talk a little bit more about how does this pulley work like we talked about. So the idea here is this particular pulley is mechanical driven. The whole supercharger is mechanical driven. This is very different from a turbocharger because a turbocharger has a spinning motion, but that comes from the exhaust gases of the vehicle. This system actually spins and rotates based on the pulley that is on the front side of the engine. And that pulley, by the way, is connected to the crankshaft. And so that is one of the reasons you get nearly zero lag from the second you put your foot on the accelerator pedal is because it is mechanically driven instead of exhaust driven. Now let's talk about the size of this supercharger. This is considered a 2.65 liter supercharger. And although that sounds like it's the size of the supercharger itself, it's not. What that means is, is that when this pulley rotates one full time, 360 degrees, how much air can it compress and stick down into the motor? And the answer is 2,650 centimeters for every single one rotation. So if you wanted to get gutsy and you wanted to completely load up on the horsepower of this particular supercharger, you could get more rotations out of the supercharger by adding a smaller pulley. However, you'll notice there are a couple of bolts on the front side of the supercharger and those bolts have little markers on the front of them so that way Roush Performance can tell if this pulley has ever been off of the supercharger, meaning you're trying to mess around and make a whole lot more horsepower. So if you do one of our specials of the 705 horsepower F-150 for 44.9, make sure you do not mess with the pulley. If you do, it voids your warranty. Even if you put it back, they can tell Hell, don't try it. But if you wanted to make more horsepower, you just need to get this thing to spin more. How do you get it to spin more? Put the smaller pulley on it. It's a great idea once the vehicle's out of the full factory warranty. 2,650 centimeters for each rotation. That is how much air this thing can push out, which is a lot. Next up, I want to talk about the different types and applications of superchargers that you can purchase. Now, Roush actually used to sell a tuner kit where it would come with the supercharger. It would come with a couple of things that you need to put it all together. But 
but you could custom make your tune as you went. Now the downside to that is you get zero warranty no matter what because you could put too much fuel to it, you could swap out pulleys, you could do a lot of different things to squeeze out a little bit of extra horsepower. The problem is, is that Roush hasn't certified that the engine can handle it from the factory. So what does Roush do? They offer a complete kit and that's what's included on that particular special is the complete kit. So it comes with everything, the supercharger, it comes with the intercooler, it comes with the fuel rails, it comes with everything that you possibly need to make sure that this car is going to be making a whole lot of power, but most importantly, safely. They have actually abused this. I'm not supposed to go over the, the details, but I know how many hours on the dyno they have to run this thing at way too many RPMs before if it considers a failure. What they try and do is they test this thing until it blows up, and then that way they can reverse engineer about how much horsepower the motor can actually handle. So you are very safe when it comes to buying a Roush supercharger. I know this sounds like it's a Roush ad. It's not. This is just what I happen to have here in person. Please keep in mind, there's a lot of great companies that offer superchargers. Make sure you do your due diligence as far as the warranty is concerned, because you want to make sure that the supercharger you're getting is actually a good one, number one. Number two, you want to make sure that the company that you're buying it from, if they're offering a warranty, make sure that they're not going to pull the rug out from underneath you. I know for Roush Performance, I've been a dealer for them for 22, 23 years, something like that, and I've never had a consumer concern where they didn't take care of it. And that's how I judge a company is when you run into issues, how does that company handle it? And Roush has always done a good job in my book. And so guys, just to kind of wrap it all up, how does a supercharger work? It basically takes air, compresses it into a smaller location, forces it into the engine, and then that engine is able to put more fuel, making a bigger explosion and a whole lot more horsepower. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in picking up this special that I've been talking about a couple times in this video, the 2023 F-150 for $44,998, brand new, with the supercharger already installed, make sure you give us a phone call. The number is right there on the screen, or you can go over to F-150 50sleeper.com. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.